Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs of Taurus. Love Life, January 15th through January 31st, 2019. Ooh, I said it. It's 2019. I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your new year. We are going to take a look. Now, if this doesn't resonate, take a look at your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. If it does resonate, please like, share, subscribe, leave your comments. If you guys want to reach out for a private reading, click that link below. All my information is there. You can visit my website and book your reading, Water and Fire Tarot. I'm also on Instant Go, Water and Fire Tarot. All right, you guys, other than that, sometimes I have a little slippage of the F word and I make no apologies. If that offends you, just go ahead and click off. If not, let's party and have a good time. All right, Taurus, let's see what is coming your way. These cards have been shuffled and meditated upon. We're gonna get the energy moving here. I want to see love messages for Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 15th through the 31st, 2019. What's coming Taurus's way in love, please? Show me love life for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please, about their love life? We will clarify this bad bitch of a reading with a Gilded Tarot. I'm cutting it, and I'm doing it. Here we go. Let's lay it out for Taurus and see what you guys can expect in love. Hope everybody is having, well, a wonderful day. And a wonderful time here on Water and Fire Tarot. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck, you guys, and see this overall energy. All right, overall energy, Taurus. We have the Eight of Cups. Water, emotion, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, doesn't have to be. Somebody's walking away in search of the two additional cups to get to that emotional fulfillment. Turning your back, walking towards a dream, something that's going to fulfill you emotionally. As always, if it isn't you, it could be the other person. The energies can switch back and forth. All right, let's take a look here and see what is up. Let's see what's going on. All right, Taurus, coming into the current moment, we do have the Seven of Wands, Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries, somebody's guarded, all right? Could be blocking out or rejecting, defensive, fighting for what you believe in and blocking others out, possibly, again, kind of a defense mechanism here coming into the current moment. You guys, I feel like you guys might be blocking somebody out or rejecting. What's influencing this is the Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody could be doing some stalking or spying. But also, too, the energy of the Page of Swords is inquisitive. Page of Swords, want, Swords wants to find out everything he or she can. Sometimes they do online. It could be messages, communication that's a little bit biting. It's truthful, but it comes in. Right, so it's inquisitive. Somebody's doing some research here, and because of it, there's a rejection or being defensive or blocking something out. Now, what's on your mind is the Two of Swords, more Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, more mental energy. This is kind of having that blindfold on and being indecisive, but if not, also what's on your mind could be ignoring somebody or rejecting, blocking out. She's got the swords over her heart. I feel like this isn't so much indecision, Taurus. This is more on your mind, again, blocking or ignoring somebody because I think there was some news or communication or something was found here. The recent past, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you might work with this person. Maybe you found out something through work. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, right? Also, too, effort and time put in. It's kind of that mundane grind every day. You know, it's Pentacles, so it's stability, it's practical. But it is work and effort here. Again, it could be through work that you guys found out something. Now, the situation or why everything's happened is the Seven of Swords. Dun, 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 dun. More mental energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air. But guess what? This guy or girl is trying to get away with something. Somebody's avoiding, perhaps leaving a situation. Perhaps in the heart of the matter, the situation, somebody was sneaky or deceptive. Okay? And because of that coming in, we've got this blockage. There's a lot of blocking, a lot of ignoring because something was discovered. Okay? What you're going to experience coming in is the emperor in reverse. Could be somebody that's older than you. Major Arcana for Aries. Could be some type of authority figure. Again, some of you may work with this person. This could be a boss, 
right? You could have like a, a work love thing going on. If not, though, what you're going to experience, the energy of the emperor in reverse is a lack of stability, a lack of boundaries. Somebody's a little bit out of control. This energy can be a little bit narcissistic. I don't love using that word because, well, I'm not a doctor. I'm a tarot reader. But I'm just saying, sometimes the emperor in reverse can be can act out, kind of have like a temper tantrum because they feel a loss of control. Has something to do with somebody made a bad choice here with the seven of swords or they just took the high road and got the hell out. Avoidance or deception here. Okay, but there's just this lack of stability that you're going to experience, unfortunately, coming in or loss of control and power. You just don't have power over the situation or they don't. You see yourself right now, Taurus, as the king of cups in reverse. Some of you dealing with water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, king of cups in reverse. Hmm, wow. King of cups in reverse is pretty closed off emotionally. Some of the traits can be... Um, again, not wanting to commit, closing off emotions, just not offering the emotions. You could be dealing with somebody who's jealous or manipulative as well, could be a water sign. But for a lot of you, I think that this is just you. It's how you see yourself, closed off to emotion, not offering the commitment because somebody did something here you didn't like and you're blocking it out. Now, outside influences coming in, Taurus, that you don't see. So what's headed your way that you don't see is the Four of Cups. More water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, energy, an offer, but guess what? Somebody doesn't really want it, I don't think. And I think it could be rejected, okay? Look at this person. He's like, mm, I don't think so. Thanks, but no thanks. The Four of Cups could be boredom, complacency, or it can just simply be a rejection of an offer. Again, there's a lot of rejection going on here. Hopes or fears, Taurus. We have the Nine of Wands. I think you guys just want to persevere, right? You're going to be cautious. It, this can be an energy of waiting, kind of waiting by the post, persevering, but I don't really feel that for you guys. I feel like this is more just standing in your power and you're going to keep going. You've been battered and bruised and you're tired and cautious, but you're going to keep going. You're not going to give up when it comes to love. Now, the most likely outcome is the Ten of Cups in reverse. So a little bit of depression, maybe some unhappiness could affect the home with the Ten of Cups. This is the family card. But when it's in reverse, there's just a lack of happiness in the situation, either you or the other person. Okay, and I think it has something to do with somebody's just out of control and they did something that you don't like. Again, it could be vice versa. And there's an offer coming in that somebody just doesn't want. And I feel like it's going to leave that other person in that Ten of Cups in reverse mentality. Clearly, somebody's walking away from something that they just don't see um, as completion, right? They don't feel like it's going to complete them. So with that Eight of Cups, you're heading towards your dream, right? Something just is not fulfilling you or the other person here, Taurus. All right, but let's go ahead and clarify this bad bitch of a reading for Taurus. So what's coming in for Taurus? Let's clarify Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, January 15th through January 31st, 2019. What is coming Taurus's way? What do they need to know about love? Love advice, love guidance. Let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading. January 15th through the 31st for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, Taurus, that'll do her. Let's go ahead and cut it and do it. Here we go. Let's take a look at this Eight of Cups as your overall energy. Why is this Eight of Cups the overall energy for Taurus, please? January 15th through the 31st. Why is this Eight of Cups here for Taurus? We have the Three of Wands turning your back. All right, so fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. But this is all about exploration in a new direction. It's manifesting. It's getting out there again. It's waiting for your ships to come in. So again, this overall energy, somebody walking away, possibly turning their back and trying to manifest in a new direction with that Three of Wands. All right. Waiting for those ships to come in because whatever this was, well, it just didn't happen. Now, the past, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Why is this Eight of Pentacles in the recent past for Taurus? What's this Eight of Pentacles? Of course, that's y'all's energy, Earth. Let's see. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here in the past for Taurus? We have the Five of Wands. Could have been some conflict through work. Again, if there was like an office romance or something like that going on. The Five of Wands can be bickering, jealousy, having to fight for somebody's attention, Something like that. It could also be some inner conflict here with that five of wands, jealousy, gossip, that kind of thing, or just bantering, right? Five is, is a challenging number. It's some type of strife, um, some type of conflict here, and it had to do with work, okay? 
or somebody was putting in work and the other person wasn't. It was causing some arguments. Now coming in, we have the Seven of Wands for you, Taurus. Why is the Seven of Wands here in the current moment for Taurus? The Hermit in reverse, sign of Virgo, all right? So again, the Hermit is kind of a, it's a spiritual card for me. It's really all about going within, seeking some type of guidance and knowledge, research, trying to find something out, and then coming back around. So I feel like for a lot of you, somebody in the scenario wants to come back around, but they're being blocked out with that seven of wands. Somebody's very, very guarded and defensive for somebody to, else to come back around because obviously there were some disputes with that five of wands in the past. What's influencing this is this a page of swords. Why is the page of swords here for Taurus? The sun in reverse, sign of Leo. I think that in, in this situation here, somebody found out some kind of disturbing news. Maybe it was discovered online or there's some type of argument with that page of swords as well. Could be communication, but again, the swords are about communication. Um, but with the sun in reverse, again, it could have been due to a Leo or also too, there was just a lack of positive change here, right? Something that kind of put a gray cloud over something here with that sun in reverse, just stalls and delays that, that you found out through communication. Now on your mind, Taurus, is the two of swords, sign of Libra for me normally. What's this two of swords about on Taurus's mind? The six of cups, some of you might have kids with this person. Obviously it could be a person from the past with the six of cups. It's also like, I think for a lot of you, rejecting or blocking out somebody from the past. Could have been a really strong connection, like a soulmate, very sweet, tender connection with that Six of Cups. But on your mind, Taurus, is you're just rejecting it or blocking out. Some of you may be indecisive, but I don't think so. I think this is m mainly just blocking out somebody from your past or somebody you have kids with. Um, the situation is the Seven of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody was just up to no good or left, avoidance. Why is the Seven of Swords here in the situation for Taurus? The Five of Pentacles, yeah, so somebody's getting left out in the cold, that's why everything's happening. Okay, somebody left or somebody did something that was, well, a little bit shady. And so somebody is getting left out in the cold with this Five of Pentacles being rejected, and then also, too, somebody else wants to come back around here with that Hermit energy. Could be a Virgo, okay? Now, what you're going to experience coming in is the Emperor in reverse. Could be somebody older. Could be an authority figure or a husband. Sign of Aries. But, ooh, cards are falling. Taurus. Let's see what came out here. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Lover's card. I'm going to put them back in. If they want to come out, that's fine. But what you're going to experience coming in with this Emperor in reverse, again, major for Aries, but this is somebody that just doesn't have boundaries. They kind of act a little bit out of control, no power or lacking control of a situation here. Why is the Emperor coming in for Taurus? Oh my God, you guys, it came out. I shuffled too and it came out again. Nine of Cups. I don't really feel like this is wish fulfillment. I feel like this is more kind of smug energy. If you look at the Gilded Tarot, look, it's kind of, he's kind of like... Smug, right? It can be the card of like overindulgence, like drinking, that kind of thing. And it's tied to this emperor energy. So for a lot of you, you're going to experience this emperor energy who's a little bit smug, maybe likes to, well, I don't know, hit the bottle or the food or the milkshakes, whatever it is. This person's smug. Okay. So FYI, and we know that because they were up to no good and you guys are leaving them out in the cold. Now you see yourself right now as the king of cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse is closed off emotionally. King of Cups can be jealous. The King of Cups can be manipulative. I'm not really seeing that so much. This is how you see yourself. So I think for the most part, you're just blocking, rejecting, and closing off your emotions. Why is this King of Cups in reverse for Taurus? The Ace of Wands. You guys want a passionate new beginning, right? The Ace of Wands is that fire. It's new. It's an ace. It's embarking on a new creative endeavor or just a brand new path and a brand new passionate relationship. So I think for a lot of you, you've closed off your emotions here and you just want a new beginning that makes you excited and something that you can take action towards, okay? Some of you are dealing with a water sign. Now, what you don't see coming is this Four of Cups. It's an offer, but it's an offer that somebody's not real sure about. It could be a rejection or just some complacency here. Why is this Four of Cups coming in for Taurus that they don't see? So this is in your environment. Why is this Four of Cups coming in? 
the nine of wands in reverse. So this is just giving up on an offer. There's like too much exhaustion and past history tied to it. Feeling beaten up, battered, worn out. And so with the nine of wands in reverse, it's kind of just like, mm, screw it. No thanks. Don't want it. So some of you will receive an offer that you're just not real excited about, okay? For others of you, also with that Nine of Cups coming in, this is somebody's wish, right, to give you that offer. But I feel like there's just a rejection and kind of the sense of no longer waiting or persevering. It's kind of just given up. Now, your hopes or fears is this Nine of Wands. So maybe you guys are hoping to just kind of move forward and persevere, you know, like take that hit on the chin and just move forward, even though there's a lot of pain or exhaustion tied to this. Why is this Nine of Wands and Taurus's hopes or fears? What's the Nine of Wands? And the lovers, Major Connor for Gemini. Really strong union, perhaps, that you had with somebody here. It's a partnership, but it's also a choice or it's also a decision. And I think a lot of you just want to giddy up, right? Move forward again, you know, not give up, persevere. You've made a decision or a choice. Kind of also, too, with that lover's card, it's making that head over heart decision, taking your heart out of it here and just moving forward. Now, the most likely outcome is this Ten of Cups in reverse, uh, could be affecting the family. Some of you guys have, you know, uh, family, children with this person. We do have the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. But with that Ten of Cups in reverse. And the King of Swords in reverse just fell out. So some of you are dealing with an air sign, Libra Gemini Aquarius, who's caused, well, some pain. I mean, the King of Swords in reverse could be this person here with that Seven of Swords. King of Swords in reverse is just when the Kings come out in reverse, they've left. But the King of Swords in reverse can be quite cutting with communication, could be verbally abusive, may not be telling the truth, or just completely cutting ties with somebody with that King of Swords, just takes the sword and severs ties. Who is this King of Swords in the outcome for Taurus? Who's this King of Swords about? The Eight of Swords, more mental energy, more Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody feels very chained, tied, and bound, living in that mental prison. For me, it's always temporary energy with that Eight of Swords, but it is tied to this King of Swords in reverse, who's causing quite a bit of unhappiness, unfortunately, in the outcome here. Um, but you guys are moving on with that Eight of Cups. You are setting your sights on new things and manifesting with the Three of Wands. But I do think you're going to have some loose ends to tie up here over the next couple weeks. Why is this Eight of Swords here for Taurus's outcome? See, the Five of Swords, more swords, a lot of mental energy, you guys. A lot of conflict here with this person, whether they're an air sign or not. That Five of Swords, again, is the Seven of Swords here. Somebody causing some manipulation. The Five of Swords could be severance, but it can also be manipulative energy. Somebody trying to play some mind games, kind of one-up energy. So just FYI on that. What's the Five of Swords about for Taurus? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So a lack of change or, you know, just feeling like kind of like luck's not on your side here for the next couple of weeks. Again, if it's not you, it's the other person, but there's some conflict and there's some loose ends to tie up. And until that is done and we've learned our lessons here, there's just this lack of forward movement or change with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. But we have the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, I think. <clears throat> could not maybe not the next couple weeks but in some time here I do believe that some of you guys probably have a water sign come in Scorpio Cancer Pisces could have water in their chart or somebody that's just very mature loving you know this could even be somebody it could be a friend or a family member or a love interest with the king of cups but the point of the king of cups is that they're very nurturing and kind and loving and mature. Like they know how to handle their emotions, okay? So a little bit of conflict, Taurus, over the next couple of weeks. But I do believe a lot of you have somebody that's very kind, tender, and gentle coming in with that King of Cups. All right, let's pull some Romance Angel cards for you guys and see what else is in store for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know, please? Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign of Taurus. Romance angels, advice and guidance for Taurus. What do we want Taurus to know? January 15th through the 31st, 2019. What do we want Taurus to know about the love life? Give your relationship a chance. 
work on your partnership, okay? Now, for a lot of you, I don't necessarily believe that this is the person that you have this energy with, okay? I feel like a lot of you do have somebody new coming in. Also, too, guess what? I think that a lot of that is past energy. Give your relationship a chance. I think that you guys did. I think that a lot of you guys did work on this, and that's why we have that Eight of Pentacles as well in the past, but I believe with that Five of Wands, there was just too much conflict, right? Let's throw you one more card here and see what's coming in for Taurus. And attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, okay? So make sure that you're prepared and ready and letting go of loose ends here. Tie them up, release, let it go so that new love, high king of cups, can make his or her way into your life. And you guys are headed towards that with that eight of cups and three of wands. So there you go, Taurus. I love you hard. Love me hard back. And we'll speak soon. Take care.